Welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here. Hey, it's time to get ready for winter. It's October 19th today, and I'd like to try an early fungicide application for snow mold today. Here's a scene from my earlier video this spring titled, I Have Lots of Snow Mold. Well, here's what I found after the snow melted this year. Snow mold. Lots of it. Starting right here at the curb and going all over the front and side yards. Everywhere I mowed with the real mower last year. What an ugly disappointment this is. That's an example of just how bad snow mold can get for me up here in the northern U.S. My front lawn is comprised of perennial ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrass in a 70 to 30 percent ratio respectively. Perennial ryegrass is considered a temporary grass here because it can suffer some damage from cold temperatures during our winters. It also doesn't recover from snow mold damage as well as Kentucky bluegrass. So if I want to keep it, I'll need to protect it or reseed it periodically. It's actually snowing right now, but it's still a month before I'll get a snowfall that stays for the whole winter. If this doesn't melt and give me more time for mowing and leaf removal, it's going to be a very long winter. Normally you need 60 consecutive days of snow cover to get gray snow mold. That's what I get the most of here. Pink snow mold doesn't even require snow cover, and I get a little bit of that sometimes too. Snow mold prevention with fungicides has always been a hit or miss kind of thing. It just doesn't always work. In fact, I used fungicide last year and it didn't even seem to work at all for me. But it has worked very well for me in previous years. The main difference this past year was that we received early deep snow cover that lasted the entire winter. That deep snow cover insulated the soil and kept it warmer than usual for a longer period of time. At least that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. For many years the science said that it was best to apply fungicide for snow mold just before the first snowfall that would last for the rest of the winter. For me that's been late November for the last few years. There's been some new research coming out of the University of Wisconsin and other places that indicates that the snow mold is actually starting to affect the grass up to a month earlier in the cool rainy weather of October. So an earlier application may help the fungicide that's traditionally applied just prior to snowfall. I prefer to use granular fungicides over liquids just because they're easier to apply. Some people may say that liquids are better, but I really don't know. It's also thought that a fungicide product with three components for snow mold will work better than just one but those are usually only found in liquid form. I'm using a granular propiconazole fungicide today. It's a group three fungicide. I plan to use Heritage G for the traditional application. That's a group 11 fungicide. It's always good to alternate fungicide groups so that the fungus doesn't develop a resistance to either one of them. You can find this kind of information on the product labels, so always read and follow the product labels. In fact, do that online before you purchase any fungicides so that you don't make any mistakes. Propiconazole is brown in color and it's very hard to see coming out of the spreader. I'm glad that I've become very familiar with the spreader because I can't see how far it's being thrown by the spreader. I'm trusting in my past experience and making two or three directional passes to ensure that I get even coverage. Some university research also suggests that propiconazole needs some warmer weather for the grass plant to take it all the way up to the top part of the leaves. So that's why I'm using it now and the Heritage G later. This is what happened the day after I shot this video. Pretty sad, isn't it? Well, okay then, but bring on the sunshine. I still have mowing and leaf removal to do. If you have a Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue lawn, or live in a warmer area, you may not even need to worry about snow mold. But if you have perennial ryegrass or serious snow mold problems where you live, maybe fungicide can help your lawn. Now get out there, you can do it! <laughs> 